In this video, we'll be using woody plants of the southeastern United States, a field botany course on CD, and learning the identification of the plants with some of the functions in the Take a Quiz option. You've already selected the taxa, that is the plants you want to study, plants that you want to learn. You've looked at what the pictures of those plants look like, so you have a basic idea of what the plants look like, and you're now ready to take a quiz. So because we've already selected some taxa, when we select on Take a Quiz, our Quiz Text Options dialog box appears immediately. If we had not selected the taxa for study, we would get a reminder that we have to select those taxa before we can go on to take the quizzes, and in fact we would be taken to the Select Taxa, that is Select Plants, dialog box to let us select our plants. But we've already done that. We've selected some plants at the species level. We've selected American Elm and River Birch. When we open this dialog box, we see that there are four possibilities from the drop-down menu. Image naming with prompt, without prompt, image comparison, and image verification. This video will deal with image naming with prompt. There's one option we can set here, and the default is usually at one second. But we're going to take this, because this is our first time looking at these images, we're going to take it and set it to 4 seconds. As more advanced users, we may want to reduce this amount of time. 4 seconds is quite a long period of time to look at an image. Saying continue takes us to our first image. And remember, this was with prompt, so a name of the species stays on the screen while we see the image. It stays there for 4 seconds before our dialog box appears and now we're prompted to enter the common name. This is not very hard because the common name is on the screen. Let me type it in. And now we can press continue with the mouse button, but it's much better, much faster, it will help your learning much more if you would just get in the habit of using the keyboard. And at this point you can just press return, and that option is selected. And now we get a little dialog box saying that we did a good job in typing in that name. And now again we can press return or enter on the keyboard to select the OK. And we go on to the next image. It stays on the screen for four seconds. And now we can enter the common name again from the keyboard. So this option is allowing us to associate this name with this plant. So we should look carefully at the plant for four seconds while the image appears on the screen and there is no dialog box. When the dialog box appears, we just type the name in. If we make a mistake, we get another chance to um, type the name again. And this is going to repeat the image display for four seconds and the appearance of the dialog box again from the beginning. Now we can type yes or no here, but again we can just hit return or enter. That will accept yes and take us on, display the image for four seconds, and then the response box will appear, typing the name and hitting the enter key gives us the response, and I enter again, takes us on to the next image. If we need to quit at any point, we just press the quit button with the mouse, and that prompts us to make sure that we really want to end the session. We're going to say yes now, and that will take us back to our main menu. We can see how we've done on that last section by going under the File menu and View Progress, or merely just pressing Control V. And it tells us that of those we correctly, uh, of those we looked at, we looked at three. We got two of them right, 67%, and it breaks that down. We only looked at river birch. If we had looked at more than one species, for instance, down here, here's another study session and we see that there were two species, in this case by scientific name, and we see that we got two-thirds of them correct on that also. Pressing OK or hitting Return takes us back to the main menu, and we are ready to continue with taking another quiz or taking a test. Thanks for your attention.